So we are in question B. Now question B says we should show that x, the x we're given here, we should show that x here is a solution of this linear homogeneous system. Now what you'd observe is that the matrix, the system we're given here has already been written in matrix form, which should have actually been the first step we should have taken. So it's been written in matrix form. So our aim is to confirm that or to verify that the x given by this column matrix is actually a solution of this linear homogeneous system. So as we did initially, we're going to show that the left hand side equals the right hand side. Now what you observe here is that the left hand side here contains the derivative of x. And then what we have here as our x has been factorized. So let's start by writing our x in a composite form so we could use it wisely so we do not make mistakes. So what we have is we have x, so that's going to be our solution. Our x is given to be 1, 3 times e to the power t plus 4, negative 4 times t e to the power t. Now this is what we have now e to the power t times 1, that is e to the power t, then 3 times e to the power t is 3 e to the power t. Then plus, then 4 times this, that's 4 t e to the power t minus 4 t e to the power t. And then when we add this entry wise, so you have e to the power t plus 4 t e to the power t plus 4 t e to the power t, and then 3e to the power t minus 40e to the power t. So this is what we have as our x. So let's start by verifying that it's a solution of this linear homogeneous system. So for the left hand side, all we have is x prime. So x prime is the derivative of each of the entries in the column matrix. So when we find derivative of e to the power t, it's still e to the power t. So write e to the power t, then plus, so we have 4t times e to the power t, so we apply product through here. And then when we find the derivative of that, we have 4e to the power t plus 4t e to the power t. And the next thing is we find derivative of the entries below. So we also have 3e to the power t minus 4t e to the power t minus 4 e to the power t. So this is what we have. And then when we add all this wise, so what we would have is 5 e to the power t plus 40 e to the power t. And then when we add all this to when we simplify that we have negative e to the power t minus 40 e to the power e to the power t. So this is what we have for the left hand side. So for this equation here to be valid, the left hand side must equal to the right hand side. So I'm going to check I'm going to do the same for the right hand side. So for the right hand side, what we have is the matrix 2, 1, negative 1, 0 times x. So our x in composite form is this. So that is e to the power t plus 4t e to the power t. Then we have 3e to the power t minus 4t e to the power t. So this is what we have. And then when we expand this, so that's going to be 2 times this plus 1 times this. And that's going to be 2 times that. 2 times e to the power t plus 4t e to the power t. Then plus 1 times 3e to the power t minus 4t e to the power t. And then the same thing, negative 1 times that, that is minus e to the power t plus 40e to the power t, then plus 0 times that, so that's plus 0. And then we close that. So when we simplify this further, what we would have is, so simplifying all this further, since it's just normal algebraic manipulation there, so when we call it like terms, what we would have is 5e to the power t plus 40e to the power t, and then what we have here is negative times that, that's minus e to the power t, then minus 40 e to the power t. So this is what we have for the left, the right hand side. And then if you observe, what we observe, all we got for our left hand side was 5e to the power t plus 40, 5e to the power t plus 40, 
the negativity minus 40 et negativity minus 40 et so we have been able to show that the left hand side equals the right hand side so we've shown this so we have proved our results and then that completes the proof